Hello and welcome in my second video tutorial for TF-51D. Uh, today I will try to talk a bit about taking off in this toothless Mustang. Before we start, uh, let's just take a quick look into options to see if we have uh, correctly configured our controls. Let's go to options adjust controls what you need to check is the axis commands make sure that you have pitch, roll, rudder if possible and throttle setup it is quite important uh, for this plane to have a rudder um, or twist grip in your joystick without them it's very difficult to take off if you don't have a twist grip or rudder now I would advise to turn on uh, takeoff assist and outer rudder in the special options menu. Important thing to remember about the TF-51D is that unlike the long nose 190 Dora, uh, the tail wheel is controllable. Um, as you can see, when I'm moving my rudder, the tail wheel is moving along. Uh, but if you push your uh, joystick forward, uh, it disconnects the, uh, the, the tail wheel and it is now in the free casting mode. It will move along with the plane. It is quite important to remember that because as long as you uh, keep the joystick in the center position or uh, pulled a bit toward you, uh, you can easily control the plane movement the ground. Okay, before we take off, uh, let's mm, set our rudder trim to around 6 degrees to the right. That will help us fight the engine torque uh, when taking off. Mm, one thing that you have to remember is to hold the stick uh, toward you. Just a little bit, not too much. That will prevent your tail from rising up too early and lifting up the tail wheel. Uh, as I said before, the tail wheel is movable, so when the tail wheel is on the ground, it's uh, easier to control uh, your movement, uh, your path when you're rolling. At around 100 miles per hour, you can gently push the stick forward that will make the tail rise and you will be able to take off smoothly. Uh, it is also possible to take off uh, while still holding the stick back. Uh, actually the plane will almost take off by itself. Ok, let's roll. First thing, let's um, hold our wheel brakes, increase the throttle, wait a bit for the RPM to rise as you see, uh, RPM has uh, increased, but our manifold pressure dropped. So we can increase the throttle just a bit more to around 30. Release the brakes and smoothly increase the throttle. Okay, let's roll. Corrector heading with the gentle uh, rudder inputs. Remember to increase the throttle smoothly. Uh, I try to watch the turn indicator to know if I'm going straight, uh, but you can also watch some faraway object like uh, cloud. At around 100 miles per hour, lower your nose, and at around 130, you can gently lift up. Okay, rise your gear, and you're done. Not that difficult. That will be all for today. I hope you enjoyed it and you find this video useful. And see you again next time.